everybody, it's Wendy Clark. I'm editor of Sail Magazine and I'm here at Harkin Inc. I'm standing in front of what's called the Harkin Lab. This is where they really like to break stuff. It's a super over, oversimplified way of describing an incredibly precise process of testing, of measurement, of all the gear that goes on to our boats and goes on to Amokas, goes on to America's Cup boats, ding, Olympic dinghies, pretty much every boat you can imagine, all sizes, all strengths. And this is Ben Biddick, he's an engineer here, and he's gonna walk us through and show us what's going on in the lab. Come on in. Let's start here with this test bench. Certainly, we invested in this test bench in uh, early 2020. It was an effort to first validate our new jumbo vang design that was going on to um, a pretty significant mega yacht. We didn't have the capacity to push and pull 50 tons, which is what we were building. So at the time, we knew we needed to step up our game, and since then, we've really pushed hard to do so. This test stand itself is 40 feet long. It can con contain 250,000 pounds. Um, the ability to both capture that and measure it at the same time is also built in up to 100,000 pounds. So we've really done a pretty significant job of increasing our load capacity, and most importantly, our safety here at Harkin. This test bench also has the collapsible guard on top so that when we really put things to their paces, we know that everybody in the building is gonna be safe. Everything we design is pretty much a one-off custom, and if it goes in here and comes back out, it's gonna be safe for your boat. Um, we can also do much more than just cylinder testing in here. We do our valve testing based off of the um, valve test platform right there, any cam valve, electric valve, double acting, single acting, pretty much anything that's gonna go onto your boat to control your hydraulics will go be validated in this test stand as well. That way we know it's working 100% correctly before you get it. Have you had a need for that cover? Yes, typically what we find is um, material defects that basically you don't know until you try. There isn't a good way to suss out an extrusion defect generally so. You'll blow up a housing and oil will go everywhere and then clean it up and try again. Before we invested in to the 40 foot long bench, this is how we tested all of our mega yacht vangs between these two box beams. Uh, this worked pretty well for a long time, but once we got into some significant loads above 50 tons, this wouldn't cut it. So now it's kind of just a playground for whatever we need in terms of industrial testing, uh, winch testing occasionally, pretty much anything. It's a Lego block that we can put together and make it, make it do whatever we want. This test stand here was the original test stand for Harkin. It can pull vertically 60,000 pounds. The majority of all of our blocks are validated through this test stand. That's for load and efficiency. Generally, when we have a new design, it goes into this and we pull it to a working load and then pull it to a failure load, making sure that our safety factors are within scope of our design intent. Generally, we design everything to a two to one or greater factor of safety. That both keeps our users safe and our products as lightweight as possible. Recently, we've updated this test stand to mimic as close as possible the fast moving traveler speeds of foiling boats. We're no longer able to provide our original traveler design and have it be effective for these speeds. Mm -hmm. So we've invested heavily into this test stand to make sure that we can move the traveler fast, under load, find out efficiency and endurance of each, and stay on top of this market. Uh -huh. The more we tighten it and try to spread apart the triangles, the higher load we can get. It's a very effective and very minimally uh, space evasive uh, mechanism that allows us to get to some pretty significant loads. We can put up to three and a half or four tons of load with this mechanism. So how much of what happens in here directly affects people who are reading our magazine? Every bit of what happens here ensures that you guys as sailors can go out, have a good race, have a great weekend and be safe and perform well. If we don't do our job here, something may break something may cause you to lose a race, and that's the least and last thing we want.